Hey there, I'm Mike Bills with Measurable Solutions, and this is Whiteboard Wednesday. And today I'm talking to you about downtime issues in your clinic or downtime issues with your staff. And raise your hand if you've ever been there. Uh, your staff has got, you know, somebody's got an empty space on their schedule, or there's just a whole bunch of empty spaces on the whole schedule, and you start pulling your hair out. You're like, what is going on? Why did this happen, et cetera? Well, it really happened for two reasons. One is you didn't have a plan um, of action in place, a process to prevent it from happening in the first place. And two is your staff didn't really know what to do to kind of keep it from occurring because there wasn't a plan. So I guess there's really only one reason. But it gives all of us these, these fears of, oh my gosh, I knew that this wasn't gonna last. Or, you know, holy cow, we're, we're gonna have these problems and we're gonna go kind of downhill and here's the start of it. And it just gets our mind running away with us like a freight train and, and, and we have no idea what's going on. So here's some action steps I want you to have in place before you get to a point where there's downtime issues empty spaces in your schedule, staff starting to goof off and you know whatever it might be because that for me that used to raise my blood pressure to beyond a boiling point. I had steam coming out of my head all the time. I'd go home upset, etc. So here's how you can keep that from happening. Number 1 is you need to have a plan in place and at the ready. And everybody needs to know what to do before they get to a point where they've got that downtime. They shouldn't be having to come to you and go Hey, Mr. Smith, I don't have any space. I don't have any patients on my schedule today. What do you want me to do? Because then you're scrambling. You've got a million things to do, and you're trying to make up things for them to do. So you've got to have a plan in place. And I'll tell you, that plan needs to have something to do with promotion. And so if you haven't seen it already, find one of our Whiteboard Wednesdays that deals with promotion in terms of how to keep your schedule full and how to prevent cancellations and things like that because that's something that your staff can work on. They're going to want to go clean equipment and vacuum the rugs and empty trash cans. There's no produ production. There's no product out of that. Get them to do something for promotion. Number two, you have to be in charge. And what I mean by that is you have to be the one that's ensuring that something is going to occur during that downtime. So again, that's where we get back to targets and, and, and goals. And so on a day where the schedule is slow, they ought to know today I'm expected to do two blogs or I'm expected to, to do whatever, right? But they need to know that. And that really comes back to having that plan. But that ultimately they need to know that they're answering to you as the owner, you as the manager on how to ensure that that is not a something that's going to continue to occur and that they're going to be that they're going to be responsible. And then the last thing is help your staff to be productive. Help them to know what to do. Have them train. That word I keep using that word Wednesday after Wednesday about training and training and training. Get them trained so that they know how to write a letter to a physician or how to write a blog or whatever it is that you need. Don't wait until you've got downtime issues to start that training. Train them up. That way they know they've got a, a write-up write description of how to do whatever it is and just get it done. So again, have a plan, be in charge, make sure that somebody's in charge of that and somebody's overseeing it, and then make sure that your staff is productive and ready to go with whatever it is, whenever it is. And you will not have downtime issues in your practice anymore if you get that in place. So, hey, I'd love to hear some comments about this, some thoughts that you have, some things that you've tried. I always like to, to hear what's going on out there and, and see things that people are successful with with downtime issues. So share those with me if you could. I would love it. Share some wins with me. I'd love to hear those. And I will see you next week for next Wednesday's Whiteboard Wednesday as well. Take care. Have a good day.